Islam is the second most practiced religion in the Republic of India and the world. Muslims of this nation have always played a prominent role in the development of Islamic cultural values. Everywhere we find the symbol of tranquility. India Islamic Cultural Center located in New Delhi is among them. The history of the center, which was inaugurated in 2006, can be traced back to 1980. That year also marked the completion of 1400th year of Hijri. For the celebration of this occasion, Muhammad Hidayatullah, former Vice President and Chief Justice of India, Hakim Abdul Hamid Sahib, founder of Hamdard, and founder president of IICC, Chaudhary Muhammad Arif Sahib, Mufti Atikur Rahman Sahib, along with many others, approached the then Prime Minister of India, Srimati Indira Gandhi, for the celebration. She warmly contributed handsome amount for the celebration of the completion of 1400th year of Hijri. Our leaders of national repute approached Honorable Srimati Indira Gandhi again for a prominent contribution. She was pleased and allotted two bungalows, number 87 and 88 at Lodi Road, where this huge and beautiful building is situated. But this land was purchased from the government. An amount of rupees 11.5 lakhs was contributed by late Hakim Abdul Hamid Sahib, founder of Hamdard and founder president of IICC. Thus, the foundation stone of this building was laid by then Prime Minister of India, Mrs. Indira Gandhi on 24th August 1984. The centre has attained its present grandeur after long drawn and strenuous efforts of Sirajuddin Qureshi Sahib and his dedicated team. Before this, two different teams comprising Hakim Abdul Hamid Sahib, founder of Hamdard and founder president of IICC, Chaudhary Muhammad Arif Sahib, Mufti Atikur Rahman Sahib, Badruddin Tayyabji Sahib, Begum Abida Ahmed Sahiba, former first lady of Republic of India and wife of late President Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed, Sayyid S. Shafi Sahib, Asaf Ali Sahib, MWK Yusuf Zai Sahib, worked for this organization from 1984 to 1993 and then from 1993 to 2004 second team came forward which comprised of Begum Abida Ahmed Saiba, former first lady of Republic of India and wife of late President Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed, Tayyab Hussain Sahib, Dr. A. R. Kidwai Sahib, Muhammad Shafi Qureshi Sahib, Dr. Najma Heptullah Sahiba, Rafik Alam Sahib, Musa Raza Sahib, retired IAS, former Director General of IICC, Dr. Syed Zafar Mahmood Sahib, Chaudhry Muhammad Arif Sahib. Sirajuddin Qureshi is a mature and experienced statesman and formidable intellect who has been in the mainstream guiding force behind the development of the centre. The new management took over on 24 January 2004, comprised of Sirajuddin Qureshi, President, Dr. S. Farooq, Vice President, Members of the Board of Trustees, Safdar H. Khan, Musa Raza, M. N. Abbasi, Mir Mehmood Mohiuddin, Abdul Muid, H. R. Khan Suhail, Kamal Farooqi, Anis Durani, Muzaffar Dev, Members of the Executive Committee, Ahmed Raza, W. A. Nomani, M. A. Haq, Zahin Malik, Abrar Ahmed, Muhammad Isa Shafiq, and loan of rupees 4.5 crores managed from the bank. Besides, some other prominent personalities such as His Highness 
बी एस अब्दुल रहमान इज होलीनेस सैयदना बुरहानुद्दीन ऑफ मुंबई इज मैजेस्टी सुल्तान कबूस ऑफ ओमान एंड सिराजुद्दीन कुरेशी हिमसेल्फ एंड अदर्स डोनेटेड ह्यूज अमाउंट फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द न्यू बिल्डिंग Sirajuddin Qureshi and his dedicated team pledged to construct the new building within 2 years but the target was achieved within 15 months and inaugurated by Shrimati Sonia Gandhi president Indian National Congress and chairperson UPA on Monday June 12 2006 Turquoise dome built with uneven tiles inscribed with Quranic verses The India Islamic Cultural Center stands out among the other buildings. India Islamic Cultural Center is a global institution devoted to social education, religious, cultural activities and for the promotion of the community with a view to serve the society and the nation. This institution looks forward to promote mutual understandings amongst the liberal progressive, rational and forward-looking personalities. India Islamic Cultural Center celebrates main religious festivals of India such as Diwali Milan, Holi Milan, Christmas, Guru Parb, Eid Milan and Eid Miladun Nabi. Besides this, India Islamic Cultural Center organizes coaching classes for aspiring candidates who wish to build brilliant careers but lack self-confidence and proper guidance. Personality development classes and memory development workshops are conducted every year. Till date, 10,000 youths have been trained and most of them got selected in national and multinational companies. The coaching for Union Public Service Commission examination and Staff Selection Commission's competitive tests is provided free and this is the most important dimensions of this institution. India Islamic Cultural Center offers facilities of an auditorium with state of art equipment with a capacity of 300 persons two conference rooms a well furnished library having thousands of books journals periodicals where students can benefit from 30 fully air conditioned guest rooms with three star facilities a cafeteria with dining hall banquet hall etc today india islamic cultural center has become the university of learning and social and communal harmony educational cultural and religious activities seminars debates discussion on current issues are also held on various occasions the new generation has developed an emotional attachment with this institution for the development in the field of knowledge the main purpose of india islamic cultural center is to promote mutual understanding and amity amongst the people of this country and to depict the true phase of islam which is most tolerant liberal progressive rational and forward looking religion besides on cardinal principles of human values irrespective of faith caste creed and gender the india islamic cultural center also provides a forum where scholars from all fields of learning can interact with each other to promote brotherhood friendship peace and amity amongst the various cultural and religious groups in india and also to strive for a peaceful coexistence